Hi, and welcome back to Liz Art Studios. Today, I have a wonderful project for you for Valentine's Day that you could do at home to give to your mom, to your dad, to your brother, sister, to your boyfriend, to your girlfriend, even to your friends or to your teachers. Teachers love presents. Anyways, so here are the materials that you need and here's what you're going to be making. So let me show you first what you're gonna be making so you see how cute it is, I love it. So I made this beautiful jar for you to see. It's a plaid design that uh, that's just so, 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 so special. Um, this could be a candle holder. It could be a potpourri holder. It could be a cookie holder or a sweet. You could put sweets in it and you could give it to that special person, okay? I also made this one. This is a, a little bit smaller. And uh, I just made like a little design like Gaudi, you know, with lots of different uh, tissue papers in different sizes and in different shapes. And then I added something very special, glitter. I love glitter. So I just put glitter on it and it came out like that. And then I made this very special jar that I have on my house. And um, this is my cookie jar. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? It was probably me, because look at my cookies. Let me show you my cookies. Voila, Valentine's Day cookies. So this, wait, or okay. I'll save this one for later. Mmm, so yummy, okay? So to make this, it's very simple. All you need is a few very simple materials that you could get anywhere, especially in your kitchen. So first thing you need are these materials. Let me show you. You need scissors a pair of scissors you know for small hands small scissors for big hands bigger scissors you're going to be needing glue white glue just plain white glue the one that you use at school that one you're gonna be needing maybe a candle if you want to make it into a candle holder you're gonna be needing a candle you're gonna be needing a paintbrush a paintbrush because you're going to be putting some glue on it and I'll show you how to do that in a second okay then you're gonna need some jars it could be any jar, it could be your fruit jar, the jam jar, or it could be asparagus jars, or it could be any type of jar that you have laying around your house, okay? I also have another, uh, this is tomato sauce jar, okay? And I also use that. So I clean it and uh, I use it. Now you're gonna need the glitter, glitter, whatever size glitter you have. And uh, then with the glue, you're gonna be making a very special kind of glue that you make it with. I put it here. Two thirds of water and one third of glue. So whatever jar you have, if you have a small jar, all you do is you take one third of glue, white glue, and the other two thirds of water. Put the top on it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a maraca all over the place, and when it's really well mixed, then you're gonna use it. Now, this is my shake mixture that I have in this jar and I'm going to be using today, okay? Then, the last materials that you need are tissue paper that I have here, lots of tissue paper, different colors. I picked these colors, the pinks and the purples and the red because it's Valentine's Day and I like these colors for Valentine's Day. Lots of people use them. You could use any other colors for Valentine's Day too, whatever you want. If you think green is good for you, it's lovely, then it's lovely, okay? Take out your green. So tissue paper, remember, tissue paper is the one that you use to wrap up presents, so to put them inside a bag. It sounds like this, and it's very, very thin. It's kind of see-through, so you could see through the light, okay? So that's the type of tissue paper that I need you to use for this. Okay, so let's begin. So now I have my tissue paper here cut a little bit smaller so it's easier for me to handle. And I am going to shake my glue and I'm gonna put it right here in front of me. I'm gonna put it on the top, okay? Because I don't want to put the, um, um, the paintbrush inside the glue all the time. So I'm gonna leave my bottle here full of glue, the one that I made, and my paintbrush right here so I could be constantly using it, okay? Now, there are two ways of using the tissue paper. One way, the first way, 
like if you want to make this uh, this beautiful pattern is to cut it in strips of paper so what do you do you take your scissors and all you have to do is I'm gonna make a little bit of um, this pattern so you see how to make it and then I'm gonna put some hearts on it and then I'm gonna make another design so you can see the two designs okay that I make so first I'm gonna make this pattern so you see how it's done okay so let me start cutting And now I have all these pieces of paper that are just lovely, all these colors, wonderful pinks and purples and red, and I'm gonna use it to make this, the pattern. So I'm gonna begin with pink, okay? So I'm gonna take my bottle, I'm gonna put it here. It's nice to get a long bottle so you could get the whole feel of this. And uh, let me show you how to do this. You take some glue, it's like this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make just a stripe from the top to the bottom like this a thick stripe more or less like the thickness of your tissue paper all right and you're gonna put it here you're gonna put it right on going from the bottom okay you don't want it to be at the bottom because then you're gonna get all this glue on the bottom it's gonna stick to your table and then it's not gonna be very neat so you just want to put the, the strip of paper here on top and then you're gonna cut okay you're gonna cut right at the edge all right and you're gonna put your paper somewhere just here so you can use it later all right then you're gonna take more glue all right and you're going to make it very wet very wet you're gonna like paint it you're gonna use it like a paintbrush all right I love this glue it's awesome now we're gonna begin going sideways with the strips of paper so I am going to take some glue and I'm gonna start from the top because on this one I did not start from the top top and then I have like lines see like pink and purple lines so I needed to start from all the way from the top and then I realized that later when I did it so things that happen so now I'm gonna start with the red because I like red at the top all right it's Valentine's Day so we're gonna do red at the top I'm gonna take some glue. I am going to mm, pretend I'm painting this. Pretend you're painting on top of it with the glue. And just put all that glue there. It's a little bit wet. So, um, just, you know, don't worry about it. You get a little bit messy too, but it's art. Art is like this, okay? Now you cut when you um, surround the bottle and you press with your fingers okay and then you take more glue get your paintbrush and put more glue all around it all around the edge put all the leftover paper try to um, paint it or like stick it in so you don't have paper sticking out that's like really 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 hardcore no you just want it to be smooth at the edge and um, have a smooth top okay so you put more glue just like that all right so now we've started now we're gonna go to the second strip of paper which i am going to use uh the purple okay so you make another strip here you paint another strip okay all the way to the pink you take your purple paper all right and you go all the way from the bottom all the way you stick it and all the way to the top you cut at the top just like this you press in and now what do we do yes we take more glue okay and we just make it flat on the bottle just like this and you see that effect 
that has like another color like from purple to uh to red that's the effect that i did not get on this one because i didn't realize what i had done so things happen now the next color that i'm going to be using is the light pink all right so i'm gonna go across with the light pink so what am i gonna do of course i am going to draw first paint on the line where i'm going to put the light pink and this was gonna be really tricky because it has a curve so don't worry we will do fine because it's tissue paper and tissue paper can adapt okay tissue pa paper adapts this one i leave here for later use all right now i take the glue see how i do it see how i'm doing this i take the glue and i kind of press it back press it back it seems right now that it's gonna be kind of like mm, see-through with this pink but tomorrow when it's drying you're gonna see that it comes out like this and it's really pretty okay so now i have red pink and i have a dark pink and a purple so the next thing that i need to use is this pink that i use here the dark pink so i take another strip of paper and what do I need to do first? Yes, I need to draw on my line, of course. So I am going to do that. So we're gonna do a vertical line, vertical, then horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, until I finish covering the whole bottle. Now, you know what? I'm gonna use special effects and I'm gonna do this really quick for you. This is really funny and I really enjoy doing this, so just Watch me, okay? that was so fast I even ran out of glue I'm gonna put some more in so this is your final product right here it's really wet so you have to be really careful with it but look how cute it looks it's really brilliant I love it and you could use it for potpourri or you could use it for cookies or you could use it to put in um, a candy sweet or you could even put a candle in it turn it on and the light is gonna be just wonderful and your parents are gonna be so happy you gave them this beautiful present or whoever you give it to so now what i'm gonna do is with this leftover material i am going to do another uh design so you could have two designs and you could do whichever one you like to do at home better okay so i am going to do that really fast too so just i'm gonna put this one here and now 
I am going to do the other one with this little jar, okay? These are really cool jars. They're um, jam, okay, jelly. So, um, so you could get these at, in your refrigerator. Just eat all the jelly up, okay? All the jam. You'll have a hyperactive uh, <laughs> personality for a little bit. And then you have a beautiful um, present for somebody. So, here I go. So, as you see, I am ripping with my hands the pieces of paper. I'm also, and I just set it here down on the table so I could just use it, okay? The next thing that I'm going to do is take a big piece of red uh, tissue paper because I want to make a heart. And I'm going to show you how to do that because it's Valentine's Day and probably you want to make a heart because I also made many hearts for my cookie jar right here hold on a second mmm so good so yummy okay so here's how you make a heart you take you take a square of tissue paper all right and all you have to do is fold it in half whichever way it doesn't matter all you need is a fold okay you fold it in half like this I'm gonna put it on the table so you could see it and you could do it with me all right so you fold it like this let me take this little thing out okay you take a um a marker or a pencil or whatever and you're gonna make this shape okay try to make it this shape so it comes out of heart okay you're gonna go from the fold okay up and you're going to come down so you're gonna follow this line more or less see where this line goes here this line is gonna go here too see it goes like that so this is the shape of the heart okay so when you take this folded paper and you cut it let me show you what happens you get a perfect heart now your heart doesn't have to be perfect okay it's it doesn't really matter but you know if we're gonna give somebody a present or something we want to make it symmetrical and that is the reason we put it like this oh how cute my heart from me to you <laughs> anyways so this heart is really big for my jar okay but i just wanted to show you a really big heart so you learn how to make it now i'm going to be making a small heart from my jar and then i'm going to be putting all this little cut up paper that i cut up with my hands all over it okay so let me do it really quick so you can see okay let's go Okay, so here we go. I just finished it right now and um, I made a heart and then I did like a little Gaudi type um, design all around it, like a mosaic all around it, all around the, the jar. And this jar is, you know, it's a little bit different than the other jars. This one is different. It has glitter. This one here, um, the, you know, has the, the nice design that I showed you how to make. And then this one is a little bit Gaudi. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? On the heart, I'm going to put some glitter. Because you know what? I love glitter. And let's make it a little bit special. So, with a little bit of glue, I'm going to put more glue on the heart. 
and I'm gonna stick my paintbrush. Now you're gonna have to wash this right away. And I am just going to paint the glitter on my heart. And it's gonna look wonderful when it's dried up. Just on the heart, just a little bit. Look how cute, I love it. Now, here we go, let's tidy up, all right? I love finishing and putting everything away. So now, let's go over everything you need again, okay? So you remember. You need, for this project, to make this project, you need tissue paper. Remember, you need red tissue paper, pink, or whatever color you really, you know, decide to do your project with. Because actually, you could even make this for summer. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. I'm making it now because it's Valentine's Day. And I wanted my students to have something special to do on the weekend and, you know, just to do something special for somebody. So that's why I'm doing it. But you could really use it for anything you want, even if you are helping your best friend uh, decorate her wedding or her, you know, or a baby shower. You could even make these and put candles in them and they look wonderful. Okay, so here we go again. Scissors, paintbrush, glitter, glue, which you're going to use one third glue and two thirds water. You're gonna put the top on and you're gonna mix it really hard and you're gonna have this wonderful mixture that it's just amazing. You could use for a lot of things, okay? Um, jars, you're gonna use jars, like whatever jars you have at home, whatever size you could use. All right, and uh, see this big jar that I got for my cookies? So these are the designs for today. I love them. I've had so much fun making them. Uh, my house is gonna look great and everyone's gonna love my cookies. So anyways, I hope you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll keep on making more videos for you. And hit like and the little bell so I can send you more videos. And thank you, have a wonderful week. Prepare your Valentine's Day and I love you guys. Bye.